Dude. 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 The guy on YouTube said take the battery out and hit the camera on the bottom. I took that action and guess what? It's working! It's working again! Yay! Well, you'll be able to finally see a video of this machine and better quality videos of the Windsor and also the Sony TCM the Sony T I'm menuing this right now. I need to set the clock. It reminded me. Clock set. Clock set. Okay. How do you do this? I, I know I said it before, but... Okay, I set the clock. The Sony TC55 is down in my bedroom. But I did acquire another real to real It is Anakai real to real Um... And it works. It has no built-in speakers, it's just a deck. Problem is, I don't have enough of those one-fourth inch adapters to be able to get them to RCA to put on a regular stereo. But it does play and record. Although, unfortunately, it plays too strong on the right, like the meter goes too much on the right, and it's like normal on the left. I also got this Magnavox VCR, that's why I got the camera here to try it out. And now let's try it out. Record. Is it? It's on. It's a one touch recording, and you have to press record and play still. Here we go. Testing on the Magnavox VCR. I have it hooked up to a Montgomery Ward television. You saw it if you saw it as a, as a video of this television. Um, let's test out this VCR. Okay. SP speed. Now running it at LP speed. Okay, LP speed. Yes, yeah, this is a three speeder. And now we're running it at SLP speed, super long play. This VCR was made in 1985, has stereo sound and Dolby noise reduction. It is a top loader. I got it for one dollar at a rummage sale. Let's test this baby out. SP speed again. Let's set that to memory counter. Now let's rewind. That was quick. And now let's play it. T4. Clear. Let's get this external mic. That's not it. Here we go. Testing on the Magnavox VCR. I have it hooked up to a Montgomery board television. You saw it if you saw it as a, as a video of this television. Um, let's test out this VCR. Okay, SP speed. Someone just attacking. Now we're going to get it. LP speed. Well, it doesn't okay, do very LP good. Speed. I may need to clean the head. This is a three speeder. And now we're running it at SLP speed. Super long play. This VCR was made in 1985. Has stereo sound and Dolby noise reduction. It is a top loader. I got it for $1 at a rummage sale. Let's test this baby out. SP speed again. Okay, well, <laughs> um, hopefully cleaning the head will get rid of that problem of that sound. I wonder if it might have to do with the fact that it's near a TV that might be interfering with it. I might need to move it somewhere, you know, where it's not close to a TV. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. My camera finally works again. It passed through the problem. It's a miracle. Oh my. Hello. I am now um, in the video for presentation of this of the Magnavox VCR after I cleaned the heads using a TDK TDK head cleaner. Right here. It's dry type video head cleaner. The one weird thing about it is 
that cleaning tape it has and it can actually record. I played it one time and there were some sections that had some old ball games recorded on it. It was like, what? Because they had probably was doing that when they cleaned them back who knows when. But it worked on cleaning this because if you saw earlier in the video it played with all this noise. But now it does good. I'm using it with this amazing Commodore monitor. It is a Commodore model 1701 video monitor. This has no tuner, but I can use, well, this is a tuner, although I haven't tried antennas on it yet. So I have it hooked up to AT&T U-verse. I'm actually running 4V. Oh, well, you notice the video went to that TV static for no apparent reason at all. It's not the only time it did that, I don't think. But now I started recording again, and now it is passing the video. It's actually coming through here, going into here, going into here, and going into here, and then going into the Commodore. But anyway, this is SP speed, and this is long, too. This is now supposed to be LP. It says SLP. There. Now it's LP speed. You can see it has a little mo a little thing there. And now SLP speed. You'll notice the audio quality change when I change the speed because this is a linear audio machine. Yet it is stereo and it does have Dolby. I'm going to go back to SP for maximum audio quality. Now at SP, there's the VHS tape running. This is a docking model. This has. I now figured out why it did the static. It did it again. It randomly went to play mode instead of record. I don't know why it did that. That makes no sense at all. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this presentation of this neat Magnavox VHS VCR was manufactured in 1985 and still works. Although it has its slight issues like you saw earlier, it randomly goes into play mode from recording. Right there was normal. That time it cut out because that was a camera. When the camera has a tape in it and it's not recording, it ought, it'll have a safety cut off or or something like that. It'll cut out after a while if nothing is done with it. That was normal. But I hope you enjoyed this video of this VCR. I'm very glad I've got my camera working again. This is direct. The earlier video was with my camera, but this is how it is from the VCR tape itself. So you get the real deal put through YouTube of recording quality of this camera, I mean uh, VCR, Magnavox. Here is the remote that goes to the Magnavox. I had to clean um, battery contacts because it didn't want to work but after cleaning the battery contacts it is working and here's where the batteries go a couple of Panasonic's in there they were in there when I got it and they still have juice 